So this week, Mitch McConnell released his first campaign re-election video, hoping to be re-elected to, I believe this would be his seventh term in the U.S. Senate. And in the video he released, which I am not going to subject you to, but you can find it in the link in the description of this video, he boasted to Kentucky citizens about his worst traits. Now, I know it seems kind of odd running on your worst traits uh, as a reelection tactic, but McConnell thinks it's gonna pay off. But McConnell, either ironically or unironically, or just because he's dumb as dirt, is actually bragging in the video about the same thing he complained about Democrats doing just a few weeks ago in a Politico op-ed. Because if we think back a few weeks ago, Mitch McConnell pinned his little op-ed and he said, oh, these darn Democrats and their obstructionist ways, they're ruining decency, they're preventing Donald Trump from doing his job and it's awful and they're horrible and they're bad for democracy. And then in the video, Mitch McConnell's sitting there bragging about holding up that Supreme Court seat and not letting Merrick Garland come to a full Senate vote to be confirmed for the Supreme Court. He's literally bragging about obstructing President Obama for a year. That's what Mitch McConnell thinks is going to win him his seat back. Something everybody needs to know about Mitch McConnell, as I previously mentioned, this would be his seventh term in the Senate. And those are six year terms. The man has been there since 1985. He is on his 34th year right now. And he's 77 years old. So if he wins another term, the next time he would be up for reelection or possibly retirement, not running again, guy would be 84, almost 85 years old. An 85 year old man who has now been removed from his district for already 34 years, not just district, his state, excuse me, he's a senator. How in the hell can anybody in this country look at something like that? Look at the damage Mitch McConnell has done, which is what he's bragging about in that video, not just the Supreme Court, but stacking the other courts in this country. How can anybody look at this man and say that we don't need term limits on the Senate? We don't need term limits on the House. He's already been there for 34 years and he's got another year and a half until the election, or at least until the new Senate is seated. His time is up, over with, done for, and it should have been decades ago. Mitch McConnell should be the poster child for term limits here in the United States because as powerful as the president may be, I promise you, Looking back at Mitch McConnell's history as the leader of the Senate on the Republican side, he has wielded far more power and done far more damage than Donald Trump could ever dream of. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.